Great ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Buffalo Sabres at Columbus Blue Jackets post game uh, recap. So the Buffalo Sabres went back to back games. They went game number 81. Uh, they beat the Ottawa Senators 4 3 in overtime at home. Sends Craig Anderson off into the sunset. Thank you, Craig Anderson, for everything you've done for us. Uh, the last two years, uh, this year and last year, but Devin Levi is now our guy, and I'm so happy. So hopefully, they sign Ryan Johnson uh, and get him signed and signed, sealed, delivered, and uh, put in a Buffalo Sabres uniform next season. And they win on the road in Columbus in Game 82 of 82, five to two. Winners over the Columbus Blue Jackets. So scoring. Or let, let's recap this. Okay. Devin Levi was in goal for this game as Craig Anderson was in goal last night in our last home game of the 2022-2023 season uh, against the Ottawa Senators. He his last game. Uh, was played as a Buffalo Sabre, and he beat the team he played for most of his career, the Ottawa Senators. So, and tonight, the Buffalo Sabres win on the road in Columbus, <clears throat> five to two, for a 42, 33 and seven finish of the season. What a record! Uh, they were this close to making the playoffs. It took till game 80 to knock the boys out. So. Um, thank you, Buffalo Sabres. Uh, it was a good season. We came very, very close to the playoffs. Uh, thank you, Craig Anderson. Uh, good luck in your retirement. Uh, and I don't see Comrie uh, coming back next year. Even though he's signed through next year, I think they either release him or they're going to trade him at the draft, I do believe. So, goals, Buffalo 5, Columbus 2. Shots, Buffalo 35, Columbus 31. Block shots, Buffalo 12, Columbus 15. Hits, Buffalo 5, Columbus 15. Faceoffs, Buffalo 20, 29, Columbus 21. Both teams were 0 for 1 on the power play, and both teams only had 2 minutes uh, power play minutes, or penalty minutes. They each only had 1 penalty. So, Scoring in the first period at 34 seconds, it was Columbus Blue Jackets. Johnny Goudreau, his 21st of the season, assisted by Tim Bernie, his second, and Adam Boquist, his 19th. And after one, it's one nothing Columbus. So uh, the BJs lead after one, but the Sabres explode. In the second period. In the second period at 8.36, it was Buffalo's Jeff Skinner, his 35th of the season, assisted by Casey Middlestack, his 44th of the season, and it's a 1 1 hockey game. And then at 12.35, it was Buffalo's Victor Olofsson, his 28th of the season, assisted by Dylan Cousins, his 37th, and Cal Clegg, his 4th, and it's a 2 1 Sabre lead. And then at 14.01, it was Buffalo's Alex Tuck, uh, his 36th of the season, assisted by Jeff Skinner, his 46th. And it's a 3-1 Buffalo Sabres lead. And then at 18.24, it was Columbus Tyler Engel, his first of the season, assisted by Andrew Peake, his 7th, and Gavin Bayruther, his 12th. And after two, it's a 3-2 Sabre lead. But the Sabres aren't done. At 4.03 in the third period, it was Buffalo's Casey Middlestat, his 15th of the season. So he scores in back-to-back -back games as he scored last night against the Ottawa Senators. Uh, assisted by Jeff Skinner, his second of the game, his 47th of the season. And it's a 4-2 Buffalo Sabres lead. And then at 17.27, it was Buffalo's Peyton Krebs, his ninth of the season, unassisted. It's a 5-2 Buffalo Sabres win. 
So Don Granado had him this close to the playoffs. I believe with this win, we finished like one point out or something. One point. One point. Now imagine if we beat New Jersey the other night and we're clinching a wild card playoff spot tonight with the win. Man, oh man. Penalties in the first period. At 159, it was Columbus, Hunter McCown, two minutes for holding. Then in the second period at 533, it was Buffalo's Riley Stillman, two minutes for tripping. Uh, so, Devin Levi stopped 29 of 31 shots. Uh, Gillies got hurt for Columbus, and Hutchinson came in and allowed two goals. Uh, Gillies allowed three goals. And he went out with an injury. Uh, so, Buffalo Sabres finished 42, 33, and 7 on the season. They had a great season. Uh, next year, they're going to be a playoff team, I do believe. We got our goalie of the future. He's 5 and 2 this year since signing with the Buffalo Sabres, uh, Devin Levi. And and I believe he's go he's going to carry us to the playoffs. We got some. Uh, moves to make in the draft and free agency and whatnot. I think they do bring in a couple of veterans uh, to help these kids out to make the playoff push. Uh, I think they bring in somebody with playoff experience. Now, I no longer want Casey Middlestat traded. No longer. He's proven that he belongs, and we got to get him signed. Uh, but uh, I don't see Kyle Ocposo returning. Uh, I see them bringing Lucas Lucas Rusek uh, to the main roster. I think either they name Jeff Skinner or Alex Tuck the new captain next season. Uh, I don't see you know or maybe Dylan Cousins. You know they're all worthy. Maybe Rasmus Dahlin. They're all worthy of being Buffalo Sabres captains. Uh, You know, it, it, it should be a fun season next year. Uh, I do believe that they at least try to get Matt Dumba uh, as he hits free agency from the uh, Minnesota Wild, I do believe, uh, to go along with Jordan Greenway from Minnesota. And uh, uh, they were probably going to put him with Riley Stillman. But... Uh, this team is going to be pretty much the same, except for Craig Anderson. I don't think you see Comrie back. I think it's going to be Devin Levi and Hugo Pekarukinen. Uh, I think you're going to see Kyle Ocposo, uh go elsewhere. Uh, I don't think he comes back um, unless they sign him to a one-year contract or something. But I don't see him returning. Uh I don't, I don't see them, I could see them trading Victor Olofsson, although he had 28 goals on the year, I do, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I see Ilya Labushkin, uh, returning, I don't see Henry Yoki Haru coming back, so they're gonna, they're gonna need, uh, a lot, uh, in this offseason, uh, but like I said, thank you Craig Anderson, uh, for everything you've done for this team the last two years. Uh, it's been nice having you here uh, to mentor Rukinen, Comrie, and Levi. And good luck in your retirement. You deserve it. Uh, and thank you for wanting to be a part of this Buffalo Sabres hockey team. Uh, this team is going to be better. Uh, Especially next year. Uh, I think they're going to be a playoff team. I think they bring in some veterans. Uh, they need to bring in people with playoff experience that can help the kids uh, when they do make the playoffs. Uh, get the jitters and stuff out. They're gonna, there's going to be jitters, you know. Uh, uh, for a 12-year drought, uh, when they finally make the playoffs again, you know, that they're, they're going to be nervous as all hell. Uh, I think they'll get through that real quick. Uh, and I think they're going to be a dangerous team in the playoffs next year. But 
Uh, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Thank you, Sabres. Thank you for all the Sabres fans who've talked hockey. Rome Hockey is one of the biggest ones. Thank you to him. Uh, thank you to everybody uh, who did videos throughout the Buffalo Sabres season, and I hope you continue to do them in the offseason. Comment in the comment section below on what you think, and as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Again, this is Sports Dom. Peace. Go Sabres. Thank you for an awesome season. And I can't wait for the 2023-2024 Buffalo Sabres season. Go Sabres.